Actor Amber Heard has said that she will be returning as Mara for the Aquaman sequel, days after her ex-husband Johnny Depp exited the Fantastic Beasts series. Amber Heard responds to losing all movie roles. When it comes to being a person in Hollywood, you always want to go and get that dream role that can elevate you to new heights. But, ask any major actor and they'll tell you that it's not just important to get that dream role, but to keep getting those kinds of roles as they'll prove just how good you are and show your range as an actor. For Amber Heard, she's had that dream role via Mara in Aquaman, but in terms of proving herself in other films, not as much. And apparently, a new indie film she's in isn't doing her any favors. Last week, Depp revealed that he will no longer play dark wizard Gellert Grindelwald in the Warner Bros. franchise after he lost his libel case relating to abuse allegations by Heard against a UK newspaper. The studio had also confirmed that Depp's role will be recast before Fantastic Beasts 3 opens in theaters. Since then, many fans of Depp have asked Warner Bros. to also fire Heard from Aquaman's sequel. A petition has also been started to have her drop from the Jason Momoa star movie. Talking to Entertainment Weekly, Heard said she is excited to start filming for Aquaman 2 soon. I'm super excited about the amount of fan love and the amount of fan appreciation that Aquaman has acquired and that it has garnered so much excitement for Aquaman and Mera that it means we'll be coming back. I'm so excited to film that, the 34-year-old actor said. She also condemned the paid campaign to have her removed from the project. Paid rumors and paid campaigns on social media don't dictate casting decisions because they have no basis in reality, Heard said. Only the fans actually made Aquaman and Aquaman 2 happen. I'm excited to get started next year, she's added. There has been a lot of speculation about Amber Heard's role in Aquaman 2 in recent months. Unconfirmed reports keep appearing online and across social media insisting the actress isn't likely to return as the warrior Mera in Warner Bros. sequel to James Wan's 2018 superhero hit, and some have suggested that she had been replaced. It's probably not a coincidence that reports speculating about Heard increased as Johnny Depp's Libel trial against a UK newspaper heated up. Depp sued the Sun newspaper over its claim the actor was abusive towards her during their whirlwind 2015 marriage. In January, an audio recording was introduced at the trial where Heard admitted hitting Depp. But earlier this month, a judge dismissed Depp's claim, ruling that the newspaper's allegations against Depp was substantially true. Depp had maintained his innocence and said he plans to appeal the decision. Paid rumors and paid campaigns on social media don't dictate casting decisions because they have no basis in reality, Heard added. Only the fans actually made Aquaman and Aquaman 2 happen. I'm excited to get started next year. Heard previously wrote that she has lost work due to speaking out against sexual violence. Friends and advisors told me I would never again work as an actress, that I would be blacklisted, Heard wrote in a 2018 op-ed for the Washington Post. A movie I was attached to recast my role. I had just shot a two-year campaign as the face of a global fashion brand, and the company dropped me. In the wake of the Sun verdict last week, Warner Bros. asked Depp to step down from the Fantastic Beast franchise. Hannibal actor Mads Mikkelsen is currently in talks to take over the role of dark wizard Gellert Grindelwald. Depp will reportedly still get paid for the upcoming Fantastic Beast 3 despite having only filmed one scene. Heard will next be seen in the new adaptation of the classic Stephen King novel, The Stand, where she plays Nadine Cross, a pandemic survivor with a dark destiny. There's going to be a lot more to Mera in Aquaman than you ever imagined from watching Justice League. Below Amber Heard, the Danish girl, Magic Mike XXL, breaks her silence on her pivotal female lead role in the eagerly awaited DC Entertainment film. She's a warrior who was raised by the Queen of Atlantis before she passed. We meet Mera after the Queen has long since left and she's been raised to take over as Queen her whole life. She's been raised to serve her kingdom and rule over Atlantis with King Orm, Patrick Wilson. She's very disciplined and almost militaristic. She's fully dedicated to saving her nation and that serves as an impetus to go to the surface world and elicit help from Arthur, who's the polar opposite of Mera. He lives in the moment. He's confused about his identity. 
he lacks the purpose and focus that Mera has, which makes them an unlikely duo. But it's that disparity that makes a nuanced relationship between them, where one is strong, the other is weak, and those differences are a conduit for their bonding. So there's an old-fashioned hierarchy in their society that they rule Atlantis. There are different tribe communities within the social hierarchy. Some of us have certain superpowers, and I have hydrokinesis, not just making bubbles. It's interesting to see how different filmmakers approach the same characters. We got to meet Mera in an introduction, and I think Zack's approach highlighted what you would want to highlight if you were just meeting her as a commanding warrior. Justice League highlighted her militaristic side. In Aquaman, we have a fuller picture. Not just her as Mera of Atlantis, but also see her struggle in the surface world in civilian clothes. One of my favorite scenes is her first time on the surface world and she's forced to dress up as a normal human. We wanted to honor the comic books. I wanted to stick with how she's depicted in the comic books in a superficial way. I wanted to go full comic book as to how she looks, but it's in the nuance of her personality where I wanted to push the boundaries. She has a natural antagonistic view of the surface world which you can understand if you look at the condition of the oceans today, how somebody living in the ocean world would feel that way. We had time to fully flesh out her character. Jason becomes more Atlantean, more super, and mine becomes more human. He's exactly like you think Jason would be, like but even more so. His heart and his personality is as big as he is. He's got this booming voice and his sense of humor isn't satisfied unless he's making people laugh. I was joking that you always know where Jason is. You hear loud rock and roll, booming voice and people laughing and something breaking or falling. He'd make the worst ninja ever. I got annoyed at him because on the set I read books and I'm quiet. He's allergic to not making people laugh or be keeping people engaged around him at all time. So he started stealing my books so I'd be forced to pay attention to him. 